the trout, the trout in the towel of the wolf of the fish, and they all ran away. The trout, he fucked oh, all the trout. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. I mean, if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Well, before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Let your go. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, 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 king in the north. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Serve me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. 
I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Didn't he? Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Owe oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try Squire in for Nora and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. Oh.
find Roderick. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon, quickly! Keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. All the phrase says time's over. <laughs> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to wait. Be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, the free said you have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! Now go! On oh, your honor, you must do this for your house! Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Uh. We love to uh. the fray! Lord. Fresh.
Das war es, K. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get. Off. My. Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? See you hang for this. That much I promise. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too.
too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly! <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Ironwood Grove. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth-born son. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lady Forrester. 
She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Ortengren. Look. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. This might help. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. I'll admit, you did. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well... Here we are. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end. 
even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. You saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. They deserve to die. All of them, I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. The boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. 
I'd gladly drive a sword. <laughs>